I, I need you to type um, the gift of people turning on you. The gift of people turning on you. Uh, let's begin to type it. Let's begin to type it. Uh, the gift of people turning on you. And when you type it, uh, put a little gift box uh, after you type it. Put Everyone begin to put some a gift box or present uh, on your screen with the emoji. Uh, the gift of people turning on you. Quickly, quickly, quickly. <coughs> the gift of people turning on you. And then put... Um, in an emoji, an emoji present or gift on the screen. Come on, let's go, guys, quickly. And I need you to share. Come on, share uh, with as many people as you can. The gift of people turning on you. That's it. That's it, uh, Nicole. Good. Uh, need some more of you to do it just like that. Uh, the gift of people turning on you. Quick, quick, quick. The gift of people turning on you. And so I need you to begin to type that. Let's share. I'm asking as many of you that can uh, to share for me um, because I, I don't know if you know this or not, but people turning on you is a gift. I, I'm in 1 Samuel 19. 1 Samuel 19 uh, verses 1 through 5. 1 Samuel 19 verses 1 through through five. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's go. First Samuel 19 verses one through five. All right, Let, let's go. Um, David is living in the house of Saul and um, Saul is supposed to be his mentor. And, and so now David really looks up to Saul because of his extreme gift of skill in terms of fighting. Um, Saul uh, was a man that loved the Lord uh, when God chose him. And, and so David looks up to him as a young fellow uh, that Saul would bring David into his household and then begin to equip him and begin to share things intricately uh, connected to David and begin to prepare him for the next level of his life. Um, there's a passage in the text, or in the Bible rather, where David one day goes out to battle and uh, the people are around chanting as they're coming in from winning the battle. And they say that uh, Saul has killed his thousands and uh, David has killed his ten thousands. And it was at that moment where Saul began to get jealous of David because of how gifted and how skilled he was. And, and let me say this, um, some people don't like you um, just because you're different. And, and just because you're different, they don't like you. Um, you you've never done nothing to them. Um, you, you went out of your way to help them and to assist them and to support them, but for some reason, um, they just don't like you. And, and so Saul at one point really liked David, but when David started to grow, Saul started hating David because, uh, can I talk? Uh, I wish you would share. Uh, there are some people, there are some people that are okay with you as long as you are subordinate to them. Uh, but the moment you start growing, growing without them, and then all of a sudden you become a problem. And, and it's interesting how uh, you've bent over backwards all year in 2023. You've helped people. You've labored over people. You prayed for people. And then they uh, turn on you and they walk away and speak negative and disparagingly things against you and your future. And all you ever did was help them. And, and it hurts because a lot of you have poured out and you've given your all to folk. And you've been questioning yourself, trying to figure out, Lord, what in the world was it that I did? And, and so the Lord says it was nothing that you did. It's just that God is in a season and you're in a season of your life where God is uprooting and he's pruning people uh, from your life. You need to hear this. This is your end of the year. I believe prophetic word that God is simultaneously removing people by, while replacing uh, people who should be there. 
And, and while you are close to a lot of people at the end of the year, can I say this to you? There are a lot of people that you got to watch. Mm -hmm. Yes, let, let me say it again. Uh, there are a lot of people that you got to watch. And so you got to keep your eye uh, not just on a few people, but you need to keep your eye on everybody uh, because you are now moving into a season where God is getting ready to excel you and thrust you forward into what he has for you. And so everybody around you, I ain't trying to be funny. Everybody around you is a little suspect. And so you got to watch people that are around you. And I hear the Lord saying towards the end of this year and even in the 2024 that you can only have people around you that have your best interests, people that have the heart of God and not just people that want to be seen with you, but people that actually want to support and help you in your vision. You got to watch everybody because at any moment, people can turn on you and, and it does not feel good when people turn on you. But I want you to understand, uh, can, can we talk? I want you to understand that Judas, hear me, every Judas that's been assigned to you is not a curse. It's not a curse. In fact, uh, you need your Judas. Yes, you need your Judas uh, because your Judas is going to ha actually help you bear the cross. You, you need your Judas. So uh, there are those that turned against you that you actually need. And so you're mad and you're frustrated and you are upset. But the Lord says that you need people actually to turn against you because it is those individuals that turn against you that help push you into your purpose. Now, let's let's get into the text because I want to give you a few things here that I believe are going to bless you. And I wish you would share for our time today because you need to hear this for your end of the year word. The Bible says that Saul uh, told his son Jonathan in verse 1 of chapter 19, that Saul told his son Jonathan and all of his attendants, listen to me, listen to me, he told them to kill David. God help me today. Now, this is the same man that is supposed to be my mentor. And I want to give you number one today. I'm talking about the gift of people turning on you. You need to share. Here's number one. You ready? Here's number one. Let's go. When people can't find mess, they make up mess. Come on, somebody. Number one. When people can't find mess, they make up mess. Y'all need to, did y'all type it? When people can't find mess, they make up mess. Mm. When people can't find mess, they make up mess. Saul is so angry with David. David's done nothing to him. But because Saul cannot find any mess on David, he just starts making up stuff. You hear me? Hating on David for no reason. And a lot of you had some people around you this year that you were close to and they made up stuff about you that was not true. And because you live a holy and authentic life before the Lord and because you have strived and desired to do right in the eyes of God, there are always a group of people that will make up mess when they cannot find mess. I think you just need to take a moment right here and wave your hand and begin to celebrate and thank God because nobody could find any mess on you. And so the fact that they had to make up mess is a sign that God is with you. And so there are a lot of people that are around you right now that you're close to and you're sharing uh, intimate things with that are suddenly going to start making up stuff about you towards the end of the year. And so now... It is well with your spirit and your soul because now I am I am prophesying to you what's getting ready to happen to you. They're only making up mess because they cannot find mess. And when people make up mess about you, that is a testament to how godly you have been living. And a lot of, a lot of folk that are around you this year, 
They were trying to make sure that your name went down in the dirt before the year ended. Yes, Lord. But I prophesy that in this season, the righteous are going to be persecuted for no reason. For no reason, people are going to make up stuff about you. For no reason, you're going to find your name in the headline about stupid stuff you did not do. For no reason, folk are going to find out rumors or try to make up stuff about you that you never were involved in. But I hear the Lord saying to sit still and to let him fight your battle. Come on here, somebody. You have to understand now that there is an assault of persecution sent out against the believer in this hour to try to destroy years of what you built. Come on here, somebody. And I do want you to understand, come on, somebody, that one rumor cannot end years of your business and years of ministry and years of impact. You have touched way too many people for the devil to make up something about you. Come on, somebody. And real friends, real people who are connected to you and around you will not fall in uh, to the temptation, come on, of lies and deceit and assaults from the devil. And here it is. Saul can't find any lies, any rumors about David. So he just makes up in his mind to get mad at him. And the interesting thing about the devil is when the enemy does not want you to do something, he gathers a remnant of demons that will fight against you. And might I add, you must be mighty powerful, mighty powerful for the devil to send all of that against just you. I need you to type, I need you to type, live on. Come on, somebody. Live on, live on through what they said. Live on even if they leave. Yes. Live on no matter what groups and cliques they conspired with to come against you. You've got to make up in your mind to live on. Come on here, somebody. You ain't got to like me. I ain't never fit into the circle no way. Come on here, somebody. Live on. You ready? Saul said, I, I don't just dislike David, but I want to kill him. There are some folk, can we talk? There are some folk that want you dead. There are some people that want you dead. They don't want you to live. Why? Because most people that want you dead, they stopped living a long time ago. They don't care what happens to their life, so they want to mess yours up. Mm. They don't care if you got a family and kids and come on here. If you if you worked and built stuff over years, they don't care because when people stop living, they want to kill you too. Live on. You ready? Here we go. There are more for you than against you. There are more for you than against you. For as many people that talked about you bad this year, the Lord says you got way more people that are for you. All you see are the people that are against you. But hear me when I tell you that you got way more people that are for you than against you. And the people that are against you have always been against you, even when they smiled at you. The folk that are against you have just made up in their mind that they don't like you. There was nothing you done to them. There was nothing negative you said to them. In fact, you did nothing but help them. But they made up in their mind that they're against you. Can I tell you this? One of your greatest deliverances, 
what are your greatest deliverances that you will ever receive is being delivered from people. <laughs> Don't let people dictate who you are and what you can do and what you can accomplish. You got more for you than against you. Most of the people that are against you, you spent most of your life helping them. And you're against me? Can I tell you, you're going to sleep a lot better tonight knowing you're going to sleep a lot better tonight knowing, let's go, that you can't please everybody. What you losing sleep for? You can't please everybody. What you running after them for? You can't please everybody. How you going to lose sleep and lose weight? trying to please people that will never like you. <laughs>